Hello, welcome back to BS Life. In this episode, I want to take you through the creations of um, this kind of result. This is basically um, a 3D mesh skull with an interesting pattern. Uh, you might recognize it. This is um, something that you can get using reaction diffusion um, algorithm. And I'm using the tissue add-on. Once again, it's been updated and it's, um, it's a lot faster now. So yeah, I wanted to show you what this skull was actually, um, how this skull was made. So you can see this is like a glowing pattern. The pattern is uh, something that you can make using reaction diffusion. And this is simply just um, something from vertex color that goes into the color ramp, into the principles shaders materials for this glow uh, in EV, and I'm using blender 2.82 alpha because it's faster to do the to do this reaction diffusion with this latest version of blender but it, you can use 2.80 no problem it will work and the add-on that I'm using of course is the tissue add-on by Alessandro Zombarelli this is the latest one and it should come with Namba. Namba is a Python module that makes the reaction diffusion calculations a lot faster. Okay, so this, uh, this skull itself is basically looking something like this without the, without the material. So it looks kind of um, disgusting. It's kind of like uh, it's being molded but originally it's just a skull okay it's just uh, being displaced by this pattern and the pattern itself actually coming from the vertex group and in order to see the vertex uh, vertex weight we turn on we turn on this um, overlay okay so that's the reaction diffusions and this is uh, being generated using the tissue add-on. I can delete this and start again. Um, there's also this vertex color that's kind of transferred from this vertex group into vertex color. It's all simply by using the tissue add-on. So if I were to do this again from scratch, so now we have nothing. Well, there's some kind of there's something there. Okay, I can paint the vertex weight. There is like a leftover, I don't know why. Let me just turn on the tissue and on. So normally you are working in object mode. Okay, there's this uh, vertex color apparently. Don't worry about this, I can just actually delete this as well. So we, we are back to the original skull model. So from here, we are gonna deal with vertex weighting and reaction diffusions. So let's save this. This is the start. We are gonna jump into weight paint. So we have nothing. And here, suddenly we have this reaction diffusions from this tissue tab. And there is also an options over here. Oh, maybe I need to turn this on first. Turn on reaction diffusions. Now we have this extra attribute um, properties for reaction diffusion simulations. So suddenly we have A and B. Okay, that's the, the default vertex weight. You can think of it like a two different substance and they want to mix uh, together and based on this reaction diffusions um, I actually I recommend you to watch this video tutorial by Alessandro from one day ago if you want to experiment with this and to be more clear of what you're doing but basically you you are creating some kind of pattern um, pattern that looks like a snake pattern actually Um, okay, something like that, or 
usually a poisonous snake poisonous snake pattern resembles reaction diffusion um, yeah, just to give you an idea but that's what we're gonna create so you have nothing here and then you start painting some kind of random way maybe I hide the node because my, my computer is a bit slow these days and once you start with a something like that if you run the playback it's gonna run the reaction diffusion slightly slow because my skull is a little bit high res there's a lot of polygon but this is a, this is a good amount because you can still still see it's a it's interactive and I can draw this random I can just brush uh, random weight paints and then the reaction diffusion will take over and will generate pattern and and the pattern is all dependent on the setting over here so what uh, things that uh, matters is like the scaling um, the step also if you want to make to make the simulation a little bit faster in, in terms of stepping but if you go too big with the number um, the reaction diffusion might fail and you just end up with a either um, substance A or substance B so that's the thing with reaction diffusions the pattern the pattern is uh, it's trying to create is usually kind of familiar somehow um, it's like something you might see in nature like I said animal animal pattern zebra maybe or or insects some kind of insects will will usually have this kind of pattern um, I don't know why they make this pattern maybe to attract the the other the opposite sides um, of sex in in their uh, environment or maybe to to kind of uh, To kind of give them like a protections because if you generate pattern like this and then if if in animals like snakes this kind of pattern means they're poisonous and dangerous so it's very interesting it's almost like um, almost like tattoo in human uh, because if humans have tattoo and uh, it looks like they are more aggressive and scary so so this is like the pattern of reaction diffusion and you if no matter how many times you try this you, you will end up with different patterns you, you start with something that's completely different if you give this to your friend these simulations they're gonna create a different kind of pattern this one actually in particular I don't know why the but the value that I have here on this skull creates some kind of pattern that's almost like a um, computer the inside of computer the IC and everything it looks like that anyway so so from this pattern okay I, I quite like this save this we can basically convert it convert to color is something that you might want to do very very quickly but it's simply translating this pattern from the weight and put it under vertex color so that's first Okay, now we are in the vertex paint, and you can we can see the pattern. This you can use this in material. We go back to weight paint. There is these options like contour curves, uh, contour displays, contour mask. Um, I found that in this version of tissue, this this can can be buggy. I can try contour curve very likely it will create error or I need to adjust this value minimum maximum value okay in order to get some kind of result okay that's interesting oh minimum and maximum radius maybe okay so maybe I need to go higher 
Oh no. Oh yeah, now it's a... I'm getting something but it's not particularly interesting. I don't know why. Maybe the size of my skull is wrong. Well, let's go back to tissue and if we go to the weight paint let's, let's try contour mask I tested many times it keep giving me error I tried all kind of value it's giving me almost like nothing I think it's a there's a bug but anyway in terms of um, reaction diffusions this one is complete right uh, you just need to select the objects and then you can do things like displacement okay this is if I get rid of this if we use displace modifier without nothing it simply push push the skull in or out but if I use like the vertex group A or B I can use the reaction diffusion pattern um, we, we can actually bake this pattern as well so it's nice uh, that looks very creepy um, this can be a start for like a, if you are sculpting as well this is like a real deformations and you can use things like mask mask is really cool you, you just pick the vertex group and then using the threshold you can mask out using the pattern um, I've done this in the past a couple of times you can use the smoothing as well make it 30 times smoothing oh I, that's probably too much and then use the solidify that's a quick really quick way you look at it okay it's a it's some kind of design right it's not particularly interesting I, I mean if you see this kind of art uh, like in 3d if I make it into AR it's probably kind of interesting looking or even like print it as a 3d actual 3d this might be quite interesting but yeah if uh let me save this if I actually start with a different object since this is I think this is blender 2.80 so I can actually do like a voxel remesher a lot of fancy stuff like that so I have this cube I, I'm just gonna control J I join them all together maybe we have remesh here turn this off okay this one doesn't have voxel remesher apparently so a better way is to go to sculpt mode and then just do the voxel remesh over here just do the remesh but we want to go higher 0 0.02 okay now if we go back to object mode look at go tap Z and then look at wireframe this one is pretty high res so I'll just save it as voxel remesh RD for reaction diffusion um, so I, I'm just gonna jump around and gonna show you all kind of different mesh generations and then with the react how it reacts with reaction diffusions. Uh, the cool thing about this you don't need UV when you start. It doesn't have any UV map. You can just generate some kind of random mesh and then you go to tissue and go to wave paint and we're gonna try to run the reaction diffusions once again I think this should be a little bit faster um, the topology of the mesh actually uh, will affect the final result of the reaction diffusion pattern okay so weight pain turn on reaction diffusions okay it it's resets everything I can actually use this just call it B delete this Call this B and run the simulations. Ok, 
okay now it's doing this it's trying to generate something on the fly again this uh, this pattern might be slightly familiar let's bring this up up there and then we can increase or decrease the scaling for example that that will will make the um, the pattern slightly more detailed I might actually need to have more um, brush strokes. I can try using random. Oh, where's? Ah, it doesn't have random. Normally, there is a way to generate random weight up here. Anyway, if we just randomly brush the strokes like that it's gonna it's gonna be a good start for our pattern let's increase the step to 30 and it decrease the scale to 0.3 and continue the simulations you can have different value for the diff a and diff b but if you have the value that's too too, too much um, you might end up with either just blue or just green I can try this is 0 0.18 if I go to 0 0.25 it's gonna be too strong perhaps oh yeah okay the pattern it's completely changed Which is not bad actually. If you keep this running for a few minutes, you're gonna end up with a interesting pattern. It's, it tries to fill up all the space. Uh, and this uh, F and K of um, coefficient as well also have um, effects on the final result of the pattern. So let me stop this. Okay. This looks quite all right. Um, let's just stop the simulations. Convert this to color, just in case I lost the, the weighting. Okay, now it's here under vertex color file save I want to actually work with a contour um, let me save this and then open another blender but 2.80 currently um, the developers are working on blender 2.81 and 2.82 2.80 is official and this one actually works better with reaction diffusions and uh, the mesh generations uh, from tissue so it says num numba module successfully loaded that means uh, we can run the reaction diffusion faster if you don't have number it's going to be really slow so let me grab voxel mesh okay this still have the weighting and the vertex color that's good so we can do like this place with the weight okay so that's kind of neat and you can use matcap and turn on the cavity uh, it shows up all the details it's probably nicer if you bake the ambient occlusion however I want to try the tissue add-on here tissue and go to weight paint and see we actually have contour curse pattern here 
we don't we don't have it here i don't know why so here i can use this run it with the default value hopefully we get something ah all right so it's done um so you see the cool thing it does it creates curve based on the weight pattern so tissue have this ability the tissue add-on actually really powerful in this area you can have like a pattern yet that or brush strokes on the weight weight paint and this can generate curves based on that you can go pretty wild with the uh, with what uh, you can create with this like if you have 3d printer you can print this out but if you I'm using a lot of I'm doing a lot of AR augmented reality so I really like to see this this thing in uh, as AR for example I, I like that file set as fake if this thing's like a real sculpture it looks very very interesting even though it's uh, you know the process is really quite simple it's a a lot of clever processing is thanks to the tissue add-on itself it's a uh, everything else is just uh, simple simple looking it the the add-on makes this process really simple otherwise it's really complicated uh, possibly you can animate this it doesn't work but extrude and then play with dev as well if you want to have like some kind of 3d look i think this is interesting S some people might look at it okay it looks pretty yucky it's almost like um, a coral the pattern in the coral coral reef as well ah, i quite like this actually and this this is like just plain if you give it a um, texture or pattern is gonna look much more interesting but even just plain objects looking quite nice we don't need you we don't have uv but i might need to do that because this guy is a curve however we can turn on auto auto uv and i can bake it out use uv for mapping okay i can turn this into mesh convert into mesh and then should be good for ar so what else, uh, what other tips can I give here if I start again? <clears throat> Let's see. Text. Um, I don't do text with reaction diffusion much, but let's say we just write tissue. And this text, we just added a little bit of extrusions and bevel it a little bit. So, and then we use the remesh, turn off, remove disconnected pieces, smooth, okay, just one more time. We cannot hit apply because this is a curve, uh, this, yeah, this, this is a text object, right click, however, right click, convert to mesh, will give you mesh that's ready for uh, reaction diffusion. So let's, uh, right click set origin to geometry and then option G R X rotated 90 degree control A apply all transform so file save as text RD reaction diffusion okay let's do this we know the drill simply just go to weight paint <clears throat> and i can try tissue mm. weight formula i'm supposed to be able to use this okay oh well just turn on reaction diffusions delete this change it change it to b run this okay uh, this is actually a good uh, amount 
you see the reaction diffusion is really fast I don't have like crazy amount of details here I can probably increase it one more time subdivide it one time hit apply go back to vertex weight paint and try painting now it's a little bit slower but still interactive and stop it reaction diffusion I can increase the step 40 and then scale to 0 0.3 start painting again so this is uh, reaction diffusion you might notice it works on one surface I don't know if I don't think it has connection with the other so this one is not connecting to this guy whatsoever but each one of them can have their own reactions within the surface um, like I said the topology might actually have um, it can affect the final result of the pattern I can actually try that um, that theory so this is the text if I if I decimate it get rid of a lot of details look at the wireframe so I totally screw up the topology hit apply and if I turn this into dual mesh um, over here um, hopefully this doesn't take too long time oh I probably it's probably a little bit too complex but anyway so now it's a you can see the pattern the wire if we go I go to wireframe we have this kind of pattern dual mesh pattern if I go to reaction diffusion and run the simulations the result will be different so it's dependent on the topology of the mesh well in this case the topology is pretty ugly I mean so the face and the vertex um, it's all it's not even if you can make it even the reaction diffusions will look much better however since this is very very fast I can perhaps subdivide it one time so we have like quad instead of weird pattern um, let's hit apply oh yeah the pattern is still it's pretty bad it's okay we can run it run the simulations and then just paint randomly until you get interesting pattern something with the the tissue uh, the reaction diffusion gives um, interesting pattern that looks an like animal but I don't know if tissue if the pattern can be used together with neural arts stylizations it might actually work so imagine if you're doing doing this kind of reaction diffusions but then one of the weight is really relying on the neural art, uh, neural arts stylization like the machine learning stuff imagine if you can do that so you you can paint you can have like two style for example for the way a and b one is in the style of picasso and the other one is style in of van gogh and then you just paint randomly you are the the artist you are the creator and you mix the paint together and you're gonna end up with new art i don't know i haven't tried it maybe we can but uh, but the pattern now since the to our topology is quite the topology of this surface is pretty random that's why we have this really weird pattern so let it settle for a little bit however 
if we go to the masking oh where is mask okay mask pick uh, one of the wave and then adjust the threshold you're gonna end up with interesting results you can also displace of course displace based on the weight paint so look at this so it's almost like a it's looking like something like a tissue maybe like broken tissue all right so yeah that's pretty much what i want to show you sorry it's a pretty long video but uh, it's just to give you an idea how you can generate mesh using reaction diffusions um, and tissue add-on all right thanks again for tuning in and i'll see you next time thank you bye